practical case-based scenario of police commission officers are different from the scenario used in training of non-commissioned officer. Like the latter, we highlight the trainees, analytical judgment, decision-making skills, physical, personal, uh, social communication skills, leadership on how the person reacts from a position of command. Maybe unless the scenario has a trainees as ground commander engaged in tactical police operation. But then we want to emphasize the non-tactical aspects. Maliban ko ang scenario ay ang trainees bilang isang ground commander na nakikibahagi sa pulisya ng isang tactical operation. Pero nais namin mag-focus sa isang aspeto. Alam niyo, gusto kong ideya ng pagkakaroon ng mga trainees ng plano na bumuo ng isang quarantine. Yung makakapagpigil ng mga nakakahawang sakit. May kaugnayan yan eh, kagaya sa nangyayari ngayon. Yung patuloy na pagkarat ng COVID-19. Moreover, the fundamental principles on how to affect similar containment strategies are applicable not only in containing highly infectious diseases, but maybe also be used in addressing reported highly concentrated incidences, criminal activities, targeting attacks on vulnerable persons, including having humanist terrorists embedding their units with the local population. We could add that these strategies are also relevant in the event of natural calamities or some, some form of civil disturbances. Section 24 of Republic Act 6975, as amended, states, among others, that the Philippine National Police shall enforce all laws and ordinances relative to the protection of lives and properties, maintain peace and order, and take all necessary steps to ensure public safety. The legal basis for the police to enforce a local quarantine. But it's clear, this is not in any way placing the area under police control. And given that the problem is the slot of the infectious disease treatment or containment, thereof is not really the expertise of the police. We will want to see how the trainees incorporate the necessary involvement of the local government and non-police agencies. Siguro magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang scenario. The first one is where we have the trainees among themselves plan how to implement the localized quarantine. And the second one is we have the trainees they will meet the local government to present the uh, proposal plan. Sa panahon ng pagpaplano, maaari tayong magkaroon ng isang uh, non-cooperative role. At uh, isang kapag ka ang trainees ay pumunta sa pangalawang senaryo, mayroon kaming mayor na hindi masyadong sangayon sa plano. Papayag lang mga alkalde sa plano kung ipapaliwanag ng trainees ang nakaplanong makbang. Ito ang pinakamaayos na proseso ang magagamit natin upang maiwasan ang anumang argumento. Tandaan ninyong muli, mahalaga ang komunikasyon. Remember the three elements? The trainees must show they know the legal basis for their actions, demonstrate quick, analytical, and problem-solving skills, and have a mindset to successfully engage using effective communication skills in order to win over the other side to support their position. For these two scenarios, we are less concerned with applying police operational procedures, practicing personal safety and other tactical concerns. Conflict management and escalation will be in the form of the trainees presenting their ideas and having the mayor and his party agree. Para sa unang scenario, maaari tayong magkaroon ng isang role player na hindi naman talaga isang team player. Para naman sa pangalawang scenario, kami ay gagawa ng pagpupulong sa pagpupulong ng mga trainees kasama ang municipal mayor, kasama ka na uh, pinagkakatiwala ang aid, at syempre kasama ang municipal health officer. Kung naalala ninyo ang aming mga itinuro, maaari nilang hilingin ang tulong ng mga lokal na opisyal na nangangasiwa sa mga apektadong barangay. Ang mga trainees ay bubuin ng hepe ng municipal police station na inalerto sa isang direktiba upang magplano at sa kalaunan ay magsagawa ng community-based quarantine sa munisipyo upang mapigil ang walang patid na pagtaas ng local at community transmission ng mga kaso ng COVID-19. Sa una, kaya question nila ng alkalde ang quarantine measure bilang isang lockdown na negatibong nakaka sa kanyang mga butante. 
that's required that the quarantine has to be implemented to the next day. Or perhaps other scenarios as well. We could really have several variations, but for now, let's keep the scenario not too far complex so we do not overchallenge them. We also have to contend with time limitations, so perhaps just the planning and the meeting with the local government is, should be sufficient for now. Una, information references. Mayroon ba tayong kopya ng IATF guidelines? Ito ay may kinalaman sa pagpapatupad ng quarantine procedures. At DILG directive sa PNP, ito ay may kinalaman para sa pagpapatupad ng community quarantine procedures. Inaasaan ko rin na matutukoy ng ating mga trainees ang, ang iba pang hanay ng sangguniyan at impormasyon habang pinaplano nila ang aktibidad. Let us document the process on how we develop the case material. Iisipin ko na ang kailangan namin ng isang kwarto, mga mesa, at uh, isang uh, upuan para sa senaryo at syempre istasyon ng pulisya at opisina ng alkalde. First scenario, we'll have the trainees discussing plans for the proposed local quarantine. And the second scenario is at the mayor's office, where the trainees present to the mayor and his team the plan implementation of the local quarantine. Ikaw ay isang miyembro ng Municipal Police Task Force na inutusan ng regional office na bumuo ng isang plano at magpatupad ng local quarantine. Hiniling sa iyo ng iyong hepe ng pulisya ng munisipyo na kanyang deputy at operations officer na sumali sa pulong ng pagpaplano dahil ikaw ay nakatalaga sa munisipyo sa pinakamatagal na panahon. Ang iyong pagkatao ay may kinikilingan at sa tingin mo ay mas mabuti na magpatupad na lamang ng estilong militar na diskarte. Being the police, you rather just tell the LGU that the police is exercising its police powers to maintain public safety, hence the implementation of a local quarantine. Dahil nasa ilalim ng DILG, maaaring idirekta ng alkalde na sumunod sa mga plano ng PNP. Igigiit mo ang opsyong ito at tatalikuran mo lang ang iyong posisyon. Pagkatapos, ipaliwanag ng iyong hepe ng pulisya o ng iba pang mga trainees kung bakit napakahalagang makakuha ng kooperasyon at suporta mula sa lokal na pamahalaan. Ikaw ang mayor. Sa una, magiging mapilit ka sa pagpapaalala na meron lokal na quarantine na ipapatupad na hindi mo alam kung ano ito. Para sa iyo, ang mga quarantine measures o lockdowns ay isa lamang na mapanupil na hakbang sa paglimita ng malayang paggalaw ng mga tao. You feel this could cost you the next election as the voting population may oppose this idea. You only relax and be supportive of the plan after the police explain to you that perhaps they got the information ahead of the ILGs and the IITF's oncoming directives. Messages to you how the local quarantine is the joint responsibility of all IATF designated agencies inclusive of the ILG, the PNP, the LGUs, the DOH, and among others. And there are mechanisms to elevate the discomfort and inconvenience of the effective population. You will want to get a starring role in the implementation of the quarantine, constantly reminding your local police that your office continues to give the latter a generous budget for operations. You are the mayor's aide who joining the mayor in the meeting. You will suggest that barangay officials perhaps can join the meeting too. Tapos, nagbo-voluntaryo ka na dapat yung mga barangay tanod, eh, kailangan kasama sa mga pulisya sa pagpapatupad ng 24-hour quarantine. At para mas maging epektibo silang force multiplier, eh, papayagan silang magkaroon ng barel sa sitwasyon ng mga krimen. Ikaw ay isang uh, medical doctor at municipal health officer na inimbitahan sa pulong. Bukas sa loob mo ang dumalo dahil ang bilang ng mga kaso ng COVID-19 sa mga barangay, which is barangay 1, 2, at 3, ay mabilis na tumataas at may positivity rate na lampas na 24%. At nagpapahiwatig na maaaring marami pang hindi na-verify ng mga kaso. You deplore the lack of personnel and budget and will ask the police who you think are responsible for enforcing this local quarantine if they can assign Philippine National Police medical personnel to help you. 
gentlemen, naatasan na tayo para magpatuloy sa pagpaplano ng local granular quarantine para sa mga barangay 1, 2, 3, at maaaring higit pa sa munisipyo para mapigilan ang diniklara ng IATF. Natapos natin to sa lalong madaling panahon dahil hindi na tayo maaari pang magkita at kailangan na to agad iharap sa alkalde. The mayor or the local government unit cannot object or disapprove our plan because we are doing it for their safety. We tell them our requirements and they provide it. We are under the DILG and the mayor can be directed to fully comply with the PNP's plan. And kung tumanggi ang alkalde, maaari natin siyang report sa DILG. In the 50s, because of criminal activities, a province and Luzon was placed under control of the Philippine Constabulary. I don't think a similar option is possible anymore. The key role of the mayor is defined in the local government code, just as PNP's role is defined in the Section 24 of Republic Act of 6975. Among others, the PNP shall enforce all laws and ordinances relative to the protection of lives and properties and maintain peace and order and take necessary steps to ensure the safety of the public. Kaya naman naglabas ng guidelines ang local at national chapters ng Integrated Agency Task Force for Management of Infectious Diseases na kung saan pinangungunahan to ng PNP, ngunit binubuti naman ng iba't ibang grupo. Can we get intel regarding demographic, socioeconomic, at political profiles ng hindi bababa sa tatlong barangay na iyon? Maaaring kailangan nating tugunan ang economic effects on the working population affected or the effect of reduced income of the affected families. Ang paghahatid ng ilang government services or critical services ay maaapektuhan din. So, paano ba natin ma-implement ng maayos? Okay? So, A, identification of information to establish planning parameters. Identify task for the staff. Okay? So B, task allocation and guidance to the staff. Okay? So, meron tayong four no, rules dito. Una, intelligence. No? Info on ground situations. What motivates the people to go outside? Okay? Number two, operations. Parameters for security support and cooperation of LGU and etc. etc. Gets you na yun. Three, Community relations. Mechanisms to ensure community concerns are addressed. Dapat, address natin yung mga concerns ng bawat community. Okay? For investigation. Identification of factors to consider in the plan. And C, balik tayo, supervise the drafting of the operations, plan and order, particularly the courses of the, courses of the action. D, Presentation and approval of the operations plan and order. Kuha niyo ba lahat? Okay. This is it. This ends our scenario for today. We're looking forward to the next at the mayor's office. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mayor, magandang hapon po. Magandang hapon naman. Mabuti at dumating na kayo. You know that I am the chief executive of this municipality and I should know of any plan that affects the people and its municipality. As it is, I am already preoccupied with this increasing COVID-19 cases of these three barangays and I am nearing the end of my budget. Now, this proposed lockdown is just like placing the area under military control. This will restrict the free movement of my constituents. And as mayor of this municipality, I will always defend their rights to freedom of movement. Mayor, we appreciate your position, po, And we really appreciate your support to the police. You are a key player as per um, local government code. And we are only here as the local team of Integrated Agency Task Force 
to help you po manage this pandemic. At habang pinamumunuan po ito ng PNP, ay kinabibilangan din po ito ng mga subordinates and agencies ng DILG at DOH. And sir, it is not a martial law or a repressive measure. Ang pagpapatupad po ng quarantine ay sa MPP ko na pong nakatunayan na kung saan ang pamahalaan ay nilalabanan ang banta ng mabilis na pagkalat ng nakamamatay at dumang nakakahawa na sakit. Magkakaroon din po tayo ng mga hakbang na pwede nating sama-samang gawin nang sa ganun ay matugunan po natin ang ating pangangailangan sa mga emergency, pangkabuhayan at iba pa. Okay. I think I understand where you're coming from. You are only following orders. Ngunit para sa malinaw na mga kadahilanan, ay dapat akong maging sikat o pampublikong mukha ng quarantine na ito. Lalo na sa suporta na binibigay ng aking, ng aking tanggapan sa PNP para sa pagpapanatili at pagpapatakbo nito. Sa totoo lang, meron akong mga reports na tumaas ang impeksyon sa tatlong barangay. At yun ang dahilan kung bakit hiniling ko sa health officer na sumama sa amin para sa pagtitipo ito. Your, your support to this activity is very vital. Yung sinasabi sa aming mga ulan ng tatlong barangay, uno, dos, at tres, ang pinaka-apektado. Maaari ba natin kausapin ang mga opisyal ng barangay? Uh, Mayor, ang mga opisyal ng dalawang barangay na banggit ay pakunta na. Baka pwede silang sumayas sa meeting. Maaari din po natin na pakilusin ang mga barangay talo na makiisa sa polisya para mapatupad ng 24 hours quarantine. At para maging epektibo din ang force multipliers, maaari din na ang mga barangay tanod ay payaga na makapagdala ng mga baril para sa sitwasyon na krimen. Maaari po ba tayong mag-issue o mag-request ng letter order sa polisya para makapagpadala ng baril? Sure, tatanggapin po namin ang alok na makapag-meet sa mga barangay officials ng tatlong apektadong barangay. Makakatulong po sila sa amin para i-verify yung mga nakalap na information para sa mula sa una, pangalawa, at mga iba pang sources. Nang sa ganun, makabuo po kami ng effective action plan. At ang PNP po, PNP Firearms and Explosives, ang may pananagutan sa pag-issue ng mga lisensya at mga nilalaman nito. Pati na rin po sa pagbibigay ng permit sa mga baril na pwedeng ilabas ng tirahan. Maari rin po namin ibigay yan sa inyo. Ikinagagal akong dumalo at kinukumpirma ko sa inyo ang mga bilang ng kaso ng COVID-19 sa barangay 1, 2, at 3 ay mabilis na tumataas. Na may positivity rate na lampas 25% na nagpapahiwatig na maaring marami pang hindi na verifying na kaso. At hindi kami nagtetest ng maraming residente gaya ng nararapat. Napapanahon na pagpapatupad ng local quarantine. Ngunit ang epektibong pagpapatupad na nangangailangan ng sapat na tauhan at budget. Maaari ba magtalaga ang PNP Regional Health Service ng ilan sa mga medical personnel nito? Para tumulong sa atin dahil kapos talaga tayo sa manpower. Doc, we can only commit to what available resource available in the municipal police station, which as you know is equally stretched to the limit. However, other than forwarding your concern to our regional office, we will try to alert the upper level of IATF to see what kind of support they can give us to augment your present resource levels. Okay, that ends our exercise. Thanks to all. Tapos Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the exercise. Clearly, you demonstrated all the things that you learned to your lectures, both physical and safety protocols taught by our instructors. By the way, I have some comments with your performance. During the planning discussions, why can't you just complete the operational plan and immediately process the implementation? The imposition of a local lockdown or quarantine is very similar to police response during a national calamity, like earthquakes, typhoons, tsunamis, serious crime, 
are security threats to community or in the event of a national, regional, local health emergency like the COVID-19 pandemic are not wholly crime prevention, crime management, or crime solution measures. National laws, including the local government code, are specific as to the role of the civilian government in getting this underway. The PNP is required to consult with the civilian government officials in supporting the former in undertaking rescue, recovery, and rehabilitation efforts. In this case, responding to a health emergency brought about by increasing COVID-19 infections in the municipality. Will enforcing a quarantine curtail rights of person affected? Is this justified? So why do you say this is not a repressive, but only a preventive measure? A quarantine, at a certain extent, curtails the rights of the residents to move freely. It is not meant to be a repressive action, but instead, this is a preventive measure to address community transmission of an infectious disease. The measure, which is scientifically accepted and government-sanctioned preventive or containment mechanism in response to the threat of an infectious disease of local or community-level transmission proportions is a proportionate response justifiable by law. The plan includes provisions for handling emergencies, income, livelihood, and medical-related. So why were the following parameters important, such as uh, intelligence, operations, com community relations, investigation necessary in your discussion? Aren't these elements only for crime prevention, crime management, and crime solutions? Investigation, operations, and community relations comprise the PNP squad concept in addressing crime prevention, crime management, and crime solution concerns. Planning for and implementing a local quarantine to contain COVID-19 infections is more in response to a medical emergency than an emerging or ongoing crime wave. Why was it necessary to involve the mayor and the local government unit in the planned quarantine? Won't that present a problem? By law, DILG directives and IETF guidelines, the local chief executives are responsible of administering localized quarantine schemes with the participation of the PNP. The national government also channels the budget to support the local government's efforts, including the providing the social ameliorations programs, financial assistance to affected residents, and these can only be effective as these are synchronized with the local police efforts to help enforce the quarantine. Not consulting with nor involving the local executives will lead to more problems. Part of our tasking is to know how to deal with their unique traits, biases, and political agenda. Okay, thank you again. So in this case, you demonstrated your analytical and fiscal problem-solving skills. You were aware of, your, of the legal basis for your actions and applied the personal and social communication techniques to get your points across. Resolve differences and achieve workable compromises without prejudice to your task. The primary objective of this scenario is to constantly exercise and tame their mind too. In a couple of minutes or maybe seconds, we're about to analyze and react to a particular training scenario that will respond on how we gave a solution to a particular problem. As we move upwards in the organizations, we will find ourselves constantly engaged in time-bound, problem-solving activities, and based on what we have learned over time, decide on our course of actions and hopefully doing the right thing. Thank you. Yeah.